I headed inside, I could catch a glimpse of the fossil lab. Through this glass, I could see real paleontologists at work, carefully cleaning and studying the fossils found right here. Next, I saw the fossilized skeleton of two American lions. When I first saw the, I was surprised, they did not look as big as I'd imagine, maybe comparable to a modern North American mountain lion. But that impression is deceiving. The truth is, the American lion was a true giant, weighing up to 1,000 pounds. It was about 25% larger than today's African lion, and one of the biggest cat species in the history of the world. As I entered this long gallery, on the right, I was faced with a dramatic diorama. This scene captures the immense struggle for survival in the Ice Age, with a pack of dire wolves on the hunt. While they might look like they're chasing deer, their primary prey was actually large herbivores like the ancient bison and horses that were so common in this area. And on the left, I couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the sheer number of fossilized skulls on this wall. Each one represents a dire wolf that met its end here. I was recently surprised to read about a company that successfully used gene editing to create pups that are a modern recreation of the dire wolf, though scientists say they are a genetically modified hybrid, not a true clone. Here we have a life-sized representation of a pygmy mammoth, a fascinating example of evolution. These mammoths, which were about the size of a modern elephant, lived on islands where resources were scarce. Over thousands of years, they shrunk in size to survive, a process known as insular dwarfism. It's incredible to think about how long they thrived on these islands. Their species evolved and survived for 60 to 70 thousands of years before going extinct. Over here, the sheer difference in scale is beautifully demonstrated with these two jawbones. The large one on the left belongs to a regular mammoth, while the smaller, whiter jawbone is from the pygmy mammoth. The stark difference in color reminds us that these fossils came from different environments, one from the tar pits, the other from a coastal island. And now for one of the most unique and fascinating displays in the entire museum. On the wall, a playful cartoon scene shows a mammoth running from a little drop house, inviting visitors to guess which poop belongs to which animal. Beneath this are five short columns, each displaying a different fossilized specimen. This fun exhibit actually demonstrates a key part of paleontology. These fossilized droppings, or coprolites, are a goldmine for scientists, providing invaluable clues about the diets of ancient animals and the ancient ecosystems they lived in.